All right, hello everyone. So today I really want to talk about this topic of uh, should you be doing research on on the dungeons and the guardian raids when you go into them. Um, uh, I just want to preface by saying ignore the gameplay in the background. It's just me doing an endless abyssal. No, 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 just an abyssal, uh, endless chaos dungeon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give my take on it. Uh, and I'm gonna start off with saying it really depends on what you want to do as a player, uh, to dictate if you should be, you know, doing your research and, uh, using guides to complete, uh, raids and done the, the abyssal raids and the chaos I mean, the chaos dungeons the uh, guardian raids yep. so my personal opinion is that i don't really like to do it but i understand why people do and you, th this is where it comes down to really like what do you as a player want to do now um the way i look at it is this there's two there's two paths really there's the path of uh the path that that just straight up like, looks it up doesn't care they want to just breeze the end game content they want to they want to progress they don't want to sit down and wait and then there's the path of they want to learn themselves and completely get a full understanding of everything without having to use a guide and i understand both personally i think that the best way to do it is to really just do whatever you feel but I understand why people get mad, but I also think it's a little unfair in the current state for you to blame somebody for wanting to learn the game on their own. Some of these mechanics, you know, are like they, they show up on screen. The game tells you how to do what to do, but a lot of times they're not fast enough. And a lot of times they're as soon as they show up on screen, uh, it's pretty much at that point your the mechanic has already started, and if you're not going into position, you're gonna fail the mechanic. Now, I don't think that this per se is bad. I think that players wanting to learn things themselves is good because maybe they learn better from practice rather than just watch video, execute what video said. And there's some merit to that because I think that a lot of players are getting angry at these players that want to want to learn mechanics through play rather than just Ooga Booga look up look up what boss does on the internet and I think it creates a real negative environment um, for these for these players that want to just learn through experience and it creates a negative environment because they almost feel punished for trying to uh, play a game and understand a game then and just and like playing how they want because somebody else is angry and I feel like that really creates a negative stigma. Now, like, don't get me wrong. I, I too was in the boat once of don't watch mechanics and ex and enter the and enter the fights and just figure it out from there. And I thought I thought it was a lot of fun, but I get both, like I said, because lately I've been watching guides because I just want to race through the content, get it done, and then go go back to what I want to, you know, grind out, which is my venture tomes and such. Now. I also understand the other side of the coin that this content is meant to be either weekly or daily and it's meant to be done quickly so you want to get back to what you're doing and you just want people to hurry up and do it so you can so you can grind out what you want to grind out and do things how you want to do them because you know you might have stuff to do and I completely get it and it for you to decide as a player you need to decide you need to, what, what you need to choose is between two things how much fun is it for you to, you know, learn mechanic manually? And how much, like, time are you willing to invest by simply just playing through and doing, you know, things over time? Because, for example, if you really, really, really just want to learn a Guardian Raid, I'd argue the best way to do it is solo. But some, some players can't do that because, you know, they're, because of their class limitations being bards or paladins. It's, it's a little bit harder and not, not as, you know, as easy. Which I completely understand. And, you know, 
it's also about you have to think about this. Do you want to do that and you know and have and fun for you, and have fun and you know, I, if that's what you want to do, if you want to just learn things manually through putting in time, and effort, and understanding, and like you know, doing what you feel is best, then go for it. Do do not listen to the other players. You're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot. You're gonna at certain times where all you're gonna get is hate, and people are gonna talk about how like how they're annoyed because you don't follow mechanics. Now. Don't be offended if somebody tells you what a mechanic is at the, with, with, when doing this, if you're going to end up doing this. Because somebody, some players will just, they'll explain to you a mechanic that you may be missing. So, that's important to understand. And the other thing, the other thing you need to think about if you want to, if you're, if you're like debating between these two, is this. How much of your time do you feel like you, how much of your time do you want to spend doing this? And how much of other people's time do you value? If you value other people's time and you're and you want to like expedite everything you can, then you need to watch guides. I'll, I'll be honest with you, watching guides and understanding like how things work and everything like that and like how they interact will save people time, you know, continuously. And it'll save a lot more time. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to do it. You need to do either, either of these, you know. Play the game how you want to play, but also I think if you're one of these people and you're in a in a game with people who don't watch uh, guides, don't immediately go to blaming them for everything in trash. I don't get it. Okay, it doesn't make sense for just because they want to learn the game a different way for you to be mad at them and to blame them for things taking longer. Yes, that might actually be the case, but like let them learn the game at their own pace. Because, to be honest with you, sometimes it is more fun to learn things through physical, like, you know, experience, rather than just, I watched, uh, I watched a video on YouTube of a guy who went over every mechanic in this boss fight and explained to me how to overcome it and what I need to do. Like, that's not always the most fun. And not everybody wants to be a meta game where they just want to play through and do every individual piece of content at ex at like extreme rates so they can log under their 18 different alts to hopefully do the same thing. It's not the same. My I get it, but I I just I, I don't know, it just bothers me, you know. I the other day I was trying to like learn through you know, experience and I was getting screamed at and told that I wasn't doing things even though I was doing even when they explained to me I started to do the thing and they were telling me I wasn't it was just it just annoys me you know and sure I can I'm probably like a minor minority and people you know people are gonna probably compare me to you know just somebody who's complaining about little things that I need to get over and just you know I'm an I'm a noob or I'm I'm bad it's whatever it's fine I it's fine you know, everybody's gonna get angry, but just play the game how you want. You know, the game isn't dictated by what everybody else thinks. The game is dictated by what you what you think and what you want to do. And to be honest with you, if if you want to be like real, a lot of this game is just dictated by what you as a player want to do, because a lot of the classes, I guess technically. You know, you're seeing tier lists for them come out. And a lot of them compete just fine with each other. And a lot of the top players who've played on Russia and Korea will both tell you the same things. Don't listen to the tier list. The tier lists, the tier lists are pointless. Because, yes, certain classes may be lower on the tier list. It doesn't mean they don't have uses or can be played at a top end level. So, don't swap mains. For example, say you are a, uh, say you're, say you're like a, 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 I don't know. Say you're like a, you want to play DPS Paladin. Play DPS Paladin, who cares? It's your experience, not everybody else's. You know, just because you want to, just because you want to have fun and others don't enjoy you having, you know, doing what you want to do. Don't bend what you're trying to, like how you want to play the game to what others think. Because who knows, sometimes, you know, playing outside the box and trying things new is how things that make the game even better are found. And the community right now is 
is very try hard focused and I don't understand why because you know wiping on a raid boss over and over again or a guardian raid is not bad like it happens but that's how people learn it's like you know if you fail at something in, in a class in school the teacher's not just like well see so you, well you got you know what you're gonna have to do well you failed at this you failed at like this this thing I was teaching this this part of the this part of the class well you know I'm just gonna leave they don't just like leave you hanging and make you wonder like well what did I do they don't nothing was explained they don't do that they help you they they help you like remediate they help you get better they, they help you understand and that's all that can happen is like you know failure elicits success so if you're not if you're not failing you're never gonna succeed you know and I don't know it's just if you don't try things sometimes you're never gonna learn and I just feel like everybody's so dick indicative now to just you know immediately go use a guide on this game that it kind of it kind of defeats part of the fun which is learning and when you when you remove part of the fun aspect for a lot of people the game becomes a lot a lot a lot less uh, interesting and it kind of just feels like gatekeeping you're locking like you're like I've seen people literally leave dungeons because somebody didn't know a mechanic and they didn't give them time to understand the mechanic and I don't know it's just a shame because a lot of the community is open to these ideas and a lot of people are open to learning but you have to you know express uh, criticism or like ideas or what you're trying to like you know put like show them or you know get them to understand you have to put that in you know a way that they can at least it doesn't just seem as a blatant just like you pointing out something to say that they're bad you have to show them that like hey and when this happens you should try doing this or like you know be like be uh, what's the best way be kind in the way that you express criticism don't just immediately go to your bad do this be like hey man you should like for example in the in the one chaos dungeon where there's like the golem and the the bishop be like hey man when you're not we don't have the circle you should stand behind the bishop so that the the golem hits her you know you gotta stand you gotta, you gotta angle that and it's like it's like you know maybe try doing that instead of just immediately like you know blaming them and then criticizing them and just making them not either like being un unclear what you're trying to tell them or just being just flat out rude because then it just ruins the whole experience for everyone but i don't know this is just my opinion on whether or you should or shouldn't be looking up um guides for guardian raids in abyssal dungeon and just to, like tldr it depends on what you want to do if how much you value other players times and value your own time um and how how much enjoyment you get from just learning things through manual uh, experience. But yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about with this video. Uh, it's pretty short, I know, but that's all. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.